Good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. All right? Uh, you might be at a good afternoon space or a good evening space. What, wherever you are in the world, um, thank you for being here. Okay? If you like this channel um, that gives tons and tons of resources, uh, information on uh, toxic relationship, narcissistic abuse, beauty, fashion, entertainment, and events, information okay guys it's all about resources here at roses resources and let me tell you society has a lot of um <clears throat> material for me to do videos about so as i am driving um i got inspired by you know of course you listen to different youtubers right and this one youtuber um her name is Queenie. She's Jamaican, right? I just want to talk about people that think that only educated people can inspire people. Where does your inspiration come from? For me, it could come from anywhere, like anywhere. You know, homeless people, people doing something negative, and I know not to do that based on their experience. Um, inspiration, God use everyone, everyone. There's no such thing as a person without value. Everybody has value from you have a soul. That's another thing I hate hearing about people not having value. You have value, but do you know your value? Okay? Um, yeah, so it's all about inspiration, guys. Um, a lot of people think if you don't have degrees or uh, accolades behind your name, um, <clears throat> your appearance, your... Uh, wife you're a husband that you're like i want to say like a nobody but that's not true some people choose to be single okay based on the toxic relationships out here and that's just one aspect of what i'm talking about being inspired right so like i like i said i'm inspired by queenie the jamaican blogger you guys can go look her up um some people may say she's nobody special right um, I actually got, got into it in a comment with this one lady, you know, of course, in the comment section, you know, people on online, especially the ones with our picture, what do you call them, trolls? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, they like to make comments <clears throat> with their no profile pictures and <clears throat> hide them behind the, the, the computer screen, okay? My face is out there, you understand? So... <clears throat> A lot of people, um, like I said, um, in the comment, the lady was saying that who is Queenie? She's nobody. Because, okay, she's vulgar, right? Queenie is a vulgar person. Um, but even in her vul vulgarness, there's a lot of lessons. I listen to her from time to time. I, I, I like her inspirational vibes with her and her husband. She married a younger uh, gentleman. She actually like, she's older, and she actually like uh, young guys, but they never turn out good for her, and now she's actually married, and um, people are, like, commenting about her and her husband because she, uh, like, gave him papers to stay, like, in England, you know what I mean? She gave him papers uh, to come from Jamaica and to stay in England. Now he could travel back and forth, and he threw, he threw stone behind him, you know, he threw rocks behind him, like, he don't treat her well anymore. Because now he used her up. If you understand? In my opinion. But um, she's so inspiring because she's helping a lot of people in her negativity. Okay? People think she's vulgar, like I said, and she's negative. But I don't think she's negative. It's all about perspective, guys. You know how, like, when you watch somebody, you take the information that suits you and then you just throw away the rest? But I feel like even in the rest that you're going to throw away... You could actually learn. So, <clears throat> Queenie was like a shoplifter, right? She was like bisexual. She went through a lot. So, she has wisdom, right? She has wisdom. She has a lot to give. Even though if people look at it the right way, they could see. Right now, you have a lot of... One thing I like about her, she is an older lady. And she lives her life. She lives her life for her. She's not worrying about what anybody has to say. She lives her life, you know. She pleases her. Pleases her. She makes herself happy no matter what somebody has to say. And that takes a lot of guts, 
a lot of courage, you know? So she started her blog just like uh, sharing her life, like her intimate life with people. Like a lot of people could comment if they want, but how many people are living in uh, behind closed door, living a filthy life, but in public, because you know you have a private and a public life. But in public, they acting like they're living a great life, but they really live in a disgusting life. Some of them can't even find food. They have to prostitute themselves. Um, you know, they have to prostitute themselves to pay rent or whatever it is, right? And I'm not judging anyone. I'm just saying, like, people like to um, make negative comment, but they know they live in that life. But because Queenie is living her life in the public, people could judge. It's just like even me. I'm living my life in the public, and people can judge. They can say whatever, but they will never like start a channel and tell their tell their truth a lot of people can't tell their truth they're not going to share their their truth you know what i'm true self because a lot of people wear masks okay so shout out to her you know what i'm saying first of all she's jamaican like me second of all she's older doing it for herself she do promotion these are just the things i like about her she do promotion yes she's vulgar very vulgar but even in that um, even in that, if you guys go and watch this thing called Sting, where this lady, um, this other blogger was trying to like disrespect her on stage. And even though people think Queen is uh, like vulgar, she held, she held her professional self on stage. She did not fight back. She just kind of like made humor out of the whole situation. And she maintained her, her dignity on stage, you know? So I like that. I love that about her. And even though she go off of her head sometimes, one thing I like about her, she doesn't keep malice. You know, she let things go and she just lives her life. So um, I'm just coming here to say, guys, even like um, whatever, whatever this bad character person is, gangster, whatever, you can learn from everybody. You know, you could be on the inside watching these people and, you know, you would never want to do that. Based on their experience, you know, wow, okay, that's a lesson. And if you make sure you take the lesson, you know, because a lot of people don't know how to take the lesson. There's a lot of lessons out here in these streets. Lots and lots of lessons. You know, you see lessons in relationship. Uh, I want to talk about um, cheating just, just real quickly. Yeah, because actually her husband is also treat, treating on her. Like now that he threw rock, rocks, he's still married, but he's like publicly disrespecting her. Um, and she talk, she talks about all these things. You guys could go watch her. Um, it, she's called Queenie. You, you guys can go watch her. It's just like even like Kashan Rock. Um, she just has like uh, this toxic thing about her, but I can see deep down in her pain. Because if you've been in pain, guys, you could know that it's just her environment, her experience is why she's acting like that. But if you look deep down, you can see that she's an awesome person. She just needs some guidance, some mentorship. And I guess she haven't really been down in deep, deep pain. She haven't hit rock bottom yet because once she do, she's going to turn into a complete uh, new person. And a lot of people like to criticize Kashan, but she's also young and she's also uh, climbing up and trying to get out of um, that disastrous relationship that she's in. And you guys can watch some of these people um, with their toxic, toxic, toxic relationship. You guys can learn, you know what I mean? Um, breaking up every every minute, every minute, getting back together. That's so toxic. Like, you need to leave that person alone. But nobody, you know, one thing about domestic violence and um, toxic uh relationships people could tell you to leave all they want you're not gonna leave until you're ready to leave been there done that but when you hit rock bottom you will leave so what i'm saying is guys look and learn in society there's a lot of lots of lots of message out here guys whether it's a youth all these black youths getting killed out here in these streets these black boys because they don't understand they're one big family. We're all energy. We're all one. We're all one. <laughs> We're all one, guys. We're all one. And until we stop being so selfish and stop this chaotic behavior, 
and just living in love and not that low vi vibrational frequency, it will continue to be nothing but chaos. People's hearts, again, are wax cold. Wax cold. Okay? The Bible already said that. Everything you need is there. You know what I'm saying? It's full of information. A lot of people like to deny it, but it's already there. There's nothing to be surprised about going on the news, um, being surprised when you see these things, because it's already there. You know what I mean? In, in First uh, Timothy, I think it is, men will be lovers of self. You know? Lovers of self. So anyway, um, I don't want to ramble on. You guys could comment, like, and share. I just got a little inspiration from Queenie. Uh, yes, I did want to touch on the cheating for a little bit. It's a character flaw. And um, cheaters never, ever win, whether they're cheating on a test, cheating in life. Even, like, people that cheat, man, they have such a disgusting character flaw. Let me tell you, they cheat on tests. They cheat in life. They think, uh, they think like, uh, life holds them something. If you cheat on your partner, cheat on the test, cheat in life, cheat on lines, you're just a cheater. You just think that people hold you things. You know what I mean? I was standing online yesterday. Um, I was the second person in line. This stupid girl comes up and she's like, oh, are you online? Clearly. I'm like, go ahead. If you really need to go that badly, just go. You understand? Like, just go. Like, people just, it's just amazing she would even ask me if I'm online. I'm a big enough for fish to say, but up online. <laughs> you know what I'm mean, saying? It's just amazing how people act. It's just, and when they do it, it's just like, you're just like, go ahead. Like, do you, I think people think like, you know how like you hide under the cover in life out here in these streets? I think they could just think people can't see them. And they're just so, you can see them. They're just so out in the, um, them and their character flaw. It's just so out there. People see you. And um, for cheaters, people never um, really want you around there. Your friends really don't trust you. They don't want you around their partner. Like, you lose the trust of your community. People are talking about you. You know what I'm saying? You're not winning. Your kids will suffer. You understand what I'm saying? Your kids will suffer. Okay? Especially if you have children outside of marriage. Your kids will suffer. Alright? Go in Exodus 20. Alright? Go in Exodus 20. To read, read about your generational curses that you are um, imparting on your, on your kids. Kids, kids, kids. And um, another thing is like, when you do cheat, guys, I just want to say this real quickly. Um watch this guy like I said it's your kids 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 and it's, if you have daughters and you're abusing a, a, a lady it will come back to you a lady or a man but I'm a female so that's what I'm talking about from the lady's point of view if you're cheating if you treat your partner like crap right you have kids somebody will treat them like crap because that's the that's the um Basically, is what you sold, and that's what's gonna. If it don't reach you, it's gonna reach your kids, kids, kids. All right. And by the way, guys, if you have older people in your life, it's always lessons to be learned. We can learn lessons from young people. We can learn lessons from older people. But older people, even though the younger people want to criticize, they have a lot of wisdom, right? Old wise counsel, by the way, not just any old people. But they have a lot of, lot of wisdom that if you guys listen, they've been there, done that. Okay? They've been there, done that. Yeah, if you think you're getting away with murder, guys, you're not. You're not. It's so funny when you see somebody committing a crime and they give them, <laughs> I want to say the electric chair, but they give them life or they give them the death penalty. Um, they never want to die. They never want to die. They prefer to get the life in jail. But you just took somebody's life. You know? You just took somebody's life. And then when you sit there um, in life, getting life, waiting to die, each and every day you're waiting to die, you're just sitting there waiting to die. I think that's more suffering, more suffering, you know what I mean? 
Yeah, man, just do good. Just do good. That's all I got to say. Leave your comment, like, and share. Thank you.